Welcome in everybody. Before we go into this evening's update, I want to give you a quick synopsis of what this is going to be. First, we're going to talk about Digibyte, as Digibyte appears to be getting ready for a big move here. As we broke out of a pattern formation already in the past, it looked like a descending triangle style formation. We hit the support, now we've already been moving up, but now in the longer terms, we're in a, um, we've created a big bull flag, and now the consolidation is about over. So I'm gonna show you two different charts that's gonna break it down very simple, or make it a lot simpler to understand what's going on with the formation. And I'm also gonna tell you a few facts you might not have known about DGB. Um, its founder was Jared Tate, and uh, it's decentralized, but I wanna tell you a few other things, four other things I'll show you, and I'll put it out in front of you in writing so that it'll be easier to process. And then we'll take a look at XRP as it's moved up just about three and a half, four percent here now from its low. Um, and just about the past hour and a half back up almost to 74 cents here as we get closer to the daily close. So we're gonna get right into talking about DGB and then into XRP. Make sure you hit that like button as it'll greatly help push me through the analytics. And remember, positivity over negativity. Keep your emotions in check. We play the winner, not the victim. And with that mindset, we can't fail. Good evening, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on this Monday, July 17th, 2023. I'm XRP Future Millionaire, and I reside in the great state of Michigan. So here's four different things about Digibyte you might not have known. So multiple mining algorithms, and it's in the Internet of Things. So multiple mining algorithms, Digibyte uses five different mining algorithms which are designed to enhance security and prevent centralization. These algorithms are SHA-256, Script, Skeen, Qubit, and Otocrypt. Uh, faster block times, the Digibyte blockchain has a block time of 15 seconds, making it faster compared to some other cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, which has a block time of 10 minutes. It's segregated witness, SegWit. Digibyte was an early adopter of SegWit, a protocol upgrade that increases the block cap uh, capacity, improves transaction mailability. Uh, multi or for multi-shield difficulty adjustment, this feature allows the network to adjust mining difficulty dynamically to maintain stable block times across different mining algorithms. So that was just a few things about Digibyte to get you better informed. I've talked a lot about Digibyte in the past, but I like to throw a few things that I don't think I've talked about as much in there. So right now, Digibyte, it's held that 747. We can see a firm bull flag in the weekly. If we look at this in the daily time frame, we came down perfectly consolidation, retested the 20 days. We've had a bullish cross here in the daily on a perfectly formed bull flag. I don't want to draw it out anymore in this pattern because we're coming up to the top of like a big descending triangle in a wider pattern. But if we look at the other chart I drew out in the past, where the heck is this chart? When I do move it down, I know I have another chart. Oh, here it is. So this chart, this was the short-term breakout. So on a move up, we had it targeted up and a breakout would have got us to about the one, two, zero, and we have broken out. So these are the layers of support that are in front of us. And if this breaks out, this is a very big pattern breakout here on the verge of for DGB. So we could be looking at, and this is not a joke, we could be looking at about 51% on DGB if this plays true. So then we go back to the chart in hand. Um, and you can see the areas of concern before we can get up to 0 0.12. We have to come up and break this downtrending resistance right here about the 99 level and then get past 1079 and then we're off to the races. But the technical target out of this breakout of the formation on the grand scale would get us up to about that one, two level. I mean, it's a substantial move for DGB, substantial. We'll look at the other chart one more time. But this is one we had charted out before and we don't really look at it that much. But when it broke out of this formation, a breakdown would have got us way down there, but now we don't have to worry about that. So now the move down could be the move up, the finish the move back up. So now we're looking at a move up to one, two, zero. But as you know, the other chart shows the rest of the formation. So pay attention to that with DGB. And then XRP very quickly here. It's back up to 7432, so it's up about, we made a big reversal here at the end of the day. And I've targeted this move out. We'll go to the two hourly, because I believe we're in a bull flag setup here for XRP. And if we do break bullish, because it looks like it's trying to create a W reversal here. 
We've already hit the uptrending support, which is a beautiful confirmation there. Um, but now if we can break out over 772 and then ultimately over that 784, we've got a few resistances as we see. 851, which I'm taking that off because we're just going to use the top of the pattern resistance up here at about 897. But the breakout, the technical target, if XRP can play true on this bull flag, we're looking at a 48% move to the top side for XRP to $1.10. That's if we play out true of this pattern. If this pattern plays true, actually it's a little bit less than that now that I look at it. Some would say, well, what the hell does it matter? Well, it matters to me. It would be a 46% move for XRP up to $1.10 if we play this true. I'm XRP Future Millionaire. Make sure you hit that like button. If you're looking to trade XRP, look in the video description below. There's Femax and or Uphold. Femax right now, take advantage of it until July 24th. 0.9% if you want to use a credit card and or bank card. Um, you don't have to do KYC if you're just transferring from another exchange and then transferring off to another exchange. You can do 50000 a day. But if you're using a bank card, your bank account, or trying to download, obviously, from a credit card, you have to do KYC. But there is no VPN necessary in the USA. Stay blessed, everybody. Positive mindset. And please join Tom's Army if you want to show support for what I do and all the work. And consider uh, subscribing to the channel if you got anything out of this. Stay blessed.